Good morning, neighbors. This is Steph with the Resort TV One Homes. We are brokered by EXP Realty, and today we're gonna to be doing some driving around the Davenport area. Uh, Davenport is on the east side of Polk County, but it we're gonna be on the west side of Davenport, so we're not gonna hit like all of it. We're gonna do um, mainly Highway 27. And I just wanna kinda show you a couple things and how much it's growing up. Just even in the last like three or four to six months, there's so much being built. And we're gonna head from 192, main highway that goes by Disney World. Uh, we're gonna head from 192 all the way down to Posner Park, which is just south of the I-4 corridor. And I just wanna show you um, some of the things that you might see and that we might wanna look for as uh, over the next few months uh, for some things that might be coming. So let's go drive. Okay, so here we are on Highway 27. And right now we're currently sitting in Lake County, but here is where 192 uh, begins or ends. And you can see the line of cars getting ready to get onto the ramp to head to 192. And things clear up a little bit uh, right after that ramp until the other one comes on. We are now in Polk County after 192 and all of these homes will be in Polk County here. Uh, all these apartments that you see over here. I am pointing to the west side of the road um, so that you can really see right here. We have a Holiday Inn Vacation Club kind of uh, thing over here. Got a little playground over there I can see. Now obviously I know this is gonna fly by uh, because I do have to go the speed of the traffic, but I just thought this might give you an idea of what traffic look like, looks like on Highway 27 and also what you might find here. Um, this is Polo Park. It is a 55 and over deed restricted active community behind that sign. Here we have some Italian and luxury condo um, resort office. And then we've got some beautiful scenery here. Like it's not all taken up uh, quite yet. We've got a church over here and I am gonna get in the right lane as soon as things clear up a bit. And you can see they're taking care of the side of the road here today. They're putting out fresh sod where the grass has died or where they've done some digging. If you're looking on the map, I am now right across from, at this stoplight right here, I will be right across from the Northeast Park, uh, the Regional Park, and that is the Northeast side of Polk County. Uh, and I've done several vlogs and videos from there and you can check that out. Um, it's one of my favorite places to just go and take a walk. And then this, if you turn right here, it goes down Legacy Park. And if you turn down left, this goes down Florence Villa. And it takes you to Westside K8 and on to, I think, I can't remember what they call it. I think it's Goodman Road after that. Here's some more wide open green grass over here. some more apartments and they are building something over here on the right and I don't know what it is yet uh, but it looks quite large and it does look to be uh, commercial buildings I imagine it's gonna be uh, another strip mall uh, but I'm not sure what the one is here on the left it does say that land pads or plots are available I'm assuming that is for commercial this is our Berrytown Center shopping right here. And it is um, IHOP, Applebee's, a mid-Florida. We've got a UPS store in there, some different styles of food, and your uh, Berrytown Center Publix, as well as a Circle K and a what bank is it? Some type, another type of bank. 
we are currently sitting at the cross street of Sand Mind Road. And you can see that the traffic is not really letting up. <laughs> uh, this is just what it looks like. I'm out here um, around 10 o'clock in the morning. So this is not even work traffic or five o'clock traffic or school bus traffic. Uh, so this is just your average everyday traffic. If you turn right here, it goes to the Highlands Reserve Boulevard at this next stoplight, or it goes um, left in, into a new housing division, new like condos and things. Left is called Student Drive and right is Highlands Reserve. It doesn't look to be a gated community, so I will add that to my list of things to maybe drive around. And then you see this uh, privacy wall uh, for that community. But you can tell this is a lot of residential area here. Um, a lot of vacation homes, because um, this is all very close to Disney. Um, I don't know if on this side of the road they can hear the fireworks at night. Here's another shopping center uh, with a British cafe and a barber and some pizza and pool supplies. And then here we are at the manors at Westridge. These homes over here are are the manors at Westridge. Um, one advantage Polk County has is that their county tax is a lot lower than Orange County. So even if you, um, you know, if you really want to be close to Disney, but you don't want to pay the Orange County property taxes, Polk County and Lake County do have some really um, ad advantages that way. This is all Polk County right here. Um, and this is, like I said, the northeast side of the county. And Polk County is the largest county in Florida land-wise. It is not the largest school district that goes to Miami-Dade. <laughs> but um, I think Polk County is in the top three um, as far as size go. This over here on the right is Florida Pines. And then you can really tell that they are building up quite a lot of coming up. You can see a lot of brown dirt here with some big uh, digger machines, is what Liam calls them, and uh, some cranes and things. And they are building quite a lot of things over here. I'm assuming this is going to be commercial because it is so close to the road and it is near a Publix on the left. And I don't see a sign yet still, but I really hope that's going to be a Starbucks. <laughs> This is sitting at the corner of Four Corners Boulevard on this side, and across the road it's called Bella Cita Boulevard. And here we are at another housing uh, addition with these beautiful trees for privacy instead of a giant wall. Um, I don't know that these trees offer much shade, though. Uh, this is this community here at the corner of Harrell Road is West Stone Bridge. Here, the one we're looking at with the palm trees. And you can see this part, uh, traffic has calmed down a little bit. There's only about three or four cars that I can see behind me and there's a few cars on the road. Uh, but this, this part is fairly local traffic or, uh, or through traffic, you know. Um, this here is Tuscan Ridge with the big oak trees here in the back for extra privacy um, near the power lines. <laughs> You'll find that very common here. Um, and then here is uh, Dean Still Road at this next light, Dean Still Road, um, which is a, we'll call it a shortcut. Um, and I'll take you on that some other day. It's a beautiful drive if you're trying to avoid some of the traffic at I-4, but you don't have to go all the way to Disney. 
and then on the left, it turns into Ronald Reagan and goes down towards Loman and uh, East Davenport and Champions Gate. And uh, we will definitely have to do that on the live stream because I'll need uh, I'll need Josh's help to film some of those roads. If you're new to this channel, I am a licensed real estate agent, but I am not what we'll call an active agent. We work with the Funk Collection, and you, if you are interested in buying a home in Central Florida, you can go to resorttv1homes.com and put in your information, and we can connect you to an agent that specializes in the area that you're looking. Uh, we have agents all across Central Florida in the Orlando area and in the greater surrounding areas that can help you find your home uh, to fit your needs and the, for the needs of your family. Here we are still at Dean Still Road and we are coming up, up to what I refer to as part of the warehouse district. Since Polk County does have lower property tax, a lot of manufacturers or distributors have warehouses here that are easily accessible to Orlando but they don't have to pay the higher tax rate so here we've got some bigger office buildings some manufacturing all sorts of other things uh, here on the right we've got some FedEx shipping over here and that's a, just a truck uh, most of these buildings aren't labeled. That just says Central Florida Park. So this is just a warehouse. Um, and then because we are close to the interstate, you will find some travel centers here. We've got a Loves and then down the road we've got a Wawa. And if you don't mind, I'm going to stop and get some gas. So we can have fun on our adventure. Okay, we are actually all fueled up and ready to go, and they actually had these lovely long-handled window washer squeegees, and I was able to try to clean the windshield, so I hope I didn't leave too many streaks. And we're gonna get on the road. So currently, today is August 16th, and our gas price is $369 for unleaded and $458.9 for diesel paid in cash. You can compare that to wherever you are and see what our gas price is like, see what the ratio might be if you're looking to budget in for gasoline and driving adventures. Okay, we are returning to Highway 27. Uh, we just left the Love's gas station and uh, it has an Arby's and this next road is an access road and I think this is where a lot of the warehouses are down here as well. Uh, I think Amazon's down this way and uh, other things. Um, there's a red light. So we'll be right back after this red light. Okay. Our light is green. So this is the walmart.com warehouse and they've got a McDonald's with truck parking and um, some other dining in here, I think. Yeah, there's a Wendy's. But this is all down close to the I-4 interstate and um, this does go, this, this access road next to us goes all the way down and around. This here is the ramp to go towards Lakeland and Tampa, Lakeland Plant City and Tampa. But we're gonna continue south and we're gonna go past the interstate and I'm gonna go uh, down a little bit into what I would, well, no, this is all still Davenport here. Uh, this is the Haines City exit off of the interstate. You'll hear about it as, um, here, maybe you can see traffic. I don't know that you'll be able to see the traffic, but I can see that the traffic is backed up as it usually is. And I'll try to take a snapshot of the map so you can see what color it is here. But you can just see those cars just lined up. Uh, and it's like that every day for to be on the north side of I-4 if they're traveling to Disney for that reason. Uh, so here we have some other 
smaller gas stations and uh, I'm not sure what else is at this stoplight. Oh, there's a Chick-fil-A right here and the Wawa. Uh, coming off, sorry, I'm merging. Uh, this Wawa here is directly in front of the exit that comes off of uh, the interstate that that takes the I-4 people to 27. It is a single exit that uh, has the stoplight so you can go north or south on this road. Uh, we're passing the Chick-fil-A here on the right and here is a seafood restaurant um, and uh, Davenport Modern Dentistry next to a Panda Express and hang on I'm still merging all right uh, Panda Express Dunkin Donuts and then a resort of Popeyes T-Mobile and Verizon are together we've got some a primary care doctor a 7-eleven and a way out west Oh, Western Wear, um, Disney Clearance Gift Store, and a racetrack. So you can see they they do have some things here. Um, this is north of Haines City, and this is uh, part of, all part of Davenport. But we are going to head into Posner Park, and I'm going to show you that today. Posner Park is our, hmm, we'll call it our southwest Orlando, northeast Polk County <laughs> shopping area. This services a lot of communities here for just some of your main shopping if you don't want to head into the outlets or you're just looking for some basic things. And um, so I just want to show you what's here. On the sign, it has uh, Home Goods, Marshalls, Burlington, Beal, I'm sorry, Bell's, Ulta, Five Below, and Rack Room. And we're gonna go in here to the, the right-hand side. I'm passing a Chipotle, and I just passed the Starbucks, and we've got a Buff City Soap. And um, here in front of me, straight in front of me is a Home Goods. So here's where all those box stores are that I, I read to you, the Berlin, Burlington, Coat Factory, the Five Below, Rack Room, Ulta, there's an America's Best um, Contact and I, um, op, what is it, Optometry. Um, we've got Bells over here on the left. And Bells looks like it's spelled Beals. And so uh, on the commercials they pronounce it Bells, but it looks like Beals. And it's, it's very similar to home goods and marshals and you know very clothing home home decorating friendly we've got an Ulta Beauty and over here we do have a Panera a Culver's and a Starbucks all in a row and Chipotle on the other corner and I'm gonna go over here into this secondary one um, this also has a uh, a right entrance from Highway 27 if you're coming north. So this has, um, oh, oh, it does go through. I almost thought it didn't go through. So, sorry about the picture of the dumpsters. So here we have Davenport Modern Dentistry, Encore Nail Bar, and First Watch. If you're not familiar with First Watch, because uh, I'm, I'm not sure it's national, it is a breakfast and lunch space. It's only open from like six to two, but they have a lot of options in there, some really good um, breakfasty things, and uh, Josh usually likes their hamburgers and sandwiches. And, uh, it, it is very popular here with our uh, retirees and snowbirds. So here I'm just going to drive past these because they're on the way to what I want to go to. So across the parking lot over here, we have a standalone Hobby Lobby. Not that way. And it looks like all of these parking lanes are, they go both directions. In Publix parking lots, usually that's not the case. But I want to show you some of the housing that's over here too. Okay. Um, 
Um, oh, next to the soap company is also a Spectrum, which if you are, if you buy a house in this area and you do find yourself needing a Spectrum office, this would be the local regional office. And here is a, looks like a fairly good size Hobby Lobby. I have yet to take Liam in there because I am afraid of how much he would spend on craft supplies. I think he would bury us in pom-poms and pipe cleaners. But um, this is, uh, ahead of us is the point at Sienna Ridge Apartments. It is a 55 and over active adult community with premium resort style living. And I don't know that it's gated. Let's just see if we can drive through. But these are apartments and I imagine these are independent living apartments. I do see a clubhouse uh, and that they're now leasing and uh, offering tours. And then I've actually never been back in here, so I thought this might be kind of cool. There is some more housing back in here, and this is all built up in the last few years. Uh, now this goes back and around, but I'm just gonna make it neutral. From this one location, you probably can't see it with the, the uh, small, you know, availability of the camera but there are three apartments in this area and all three of them have a very distinct and lovely style one of them feels like key west one of them feels like midwest and one of them feels like california <laughs> it's quite a juxtaposition you can find yourself in okay i'm gonna come out here uh and turn right by um, the Spectrum, which I now see has a twisty treat in front of it. Over here on the left here. And um, so we came in and we off of Highway 27 onto this uh, out road. I don't know what the name is, but the out road. And this is all on the left, on the right here, where we turned, is called Posner Village. Um, I don't know why they're named separately, but that's very interesting to me. Um, and we're gonna go down all the way to the end and then come back. Where I wanna see what's here on the right. So this one over here that looks very oceany is called the Apex at Posner Park Luxury Apartments. That is a, um, all, all lifestyles community, all ages. It doesn't look to be a 55 and over. And then over here, this community looks, I don't know, I, I find it closer to the Yacht Club feel. It has springs at Posner Park. Okay, uh, I'm gonna get in this lane. We're gonna turn left. So I'm just winding around here uh, behind Posner Park because I want to show you the shopping there and it's just easier for me to point the camera to the right because then I can see what I'm filming. So we're just gonna go to the end and wind back around. But this gives you an idea too. There's a beautiful lake in front of us. Um, gives you kind of an idea of what's coming. Cross traffic does not have to stop here, but they are all turning right. The people on my left are all turning right to go out to the highway. Um, and there is a beautiful lake out here. I don't know if you can see that in the camera or if you're just, um, getting the streaks that I accidentally made on the window. I apologize. I was trying to make it better, not worse. Um, so it's not quite all built up yet. Uh, they do still have some room out here. Obviously they can't build in the lake, but um, they, they do still have some land over here that they haven't capitalized for use yet. Okay, 
all the way back here on the other side. So the road stops here and I am looking at the traffic sitting on I-4. I don't know that you guys can see that, but I can see that. And this goes into BJ's and they do have a gas uh, station here and their price is with their one plus MasterCard, it's 338 and the regular is 353. And then they've got sale, a tire sales service and propane here. This is all fairly new. I haven't actually seen this. I haven't driven back here. Um, this is really cool. They are promoting Cooper tires and Goodyear tires here. Out here in front. So BJ's is like a um, Costco, Sam's, wholesale, uh, Gordon Food Service kind of um, thing, store. So you can see what we have here. Um, the, I would say the parking lot, even at what was it, 10 o'clock on a Wednesday, the parking lot's still about half full, which I, mean, I think that's a really good, good thing for people to drive all the way back here for this. And then you can't get to the rest of the shopping from here, so you have to go out and around. So we're back onto the road that we were on. We basically just made a giant U-turn. And we're gonna go in here to Posner, they're calling Posner Commons. It's all part of Posner Park. It's really curious to me that they have different names for each segment. So this has JCPenney's, Target, Snapless, and Best Buy. This is really curious. All right, so I'm gonna turn right. And this is just an access road. It's not really, there's no fancy name for it. And you can see BJ's over there, but you can't get to it from here. And then you've got Best Buy and the Spirit of Halloween store over here is the one that used to, I think, uh, I think it used to be Books A Million. I don't, I don't know. So you can see Best Buy, uh, JCPenney, and The Spirit of Halloween. And this is a really good size JCPenney also. And, um, and the Best Buy uh, also takes like electronics recycling and that kind of thing. You just go in and take it to the front desk, like not customer service. Oh no, here's the books million. Oh, I'm happy to see that. Okay. So, uh, we're just going to continue driving through, um, crossing this weird little road here. So, here's Books A Million, and Snapless IMAX is a movie theater, and this has probably been here for uh, a good 15, 15 years at least, this part of it, um, but as far as being built up around here. Uh, this is probably some of the newest shopping. Uh, Ashley Home Store. And that's an Ashley Furniture Home Store. And then this is all part of Target here. Now this is just a regular Target. This is not a Super Target. They do have a Starbucks inside, but it is not considered a Super Target. Your closest Super Target to here is the one on 192 at the intersection of 429. I'm gonna stop for pedestrian traffic. We do have another dental care here. It's a, uh, oh, I'm sorry. It's Gentle Care Orthodontics. So that's a little different. And uh, a store that just says massage on the top. Let's see what the name of it is. It's calling itself Key Healing Spa and Staples with Amazon returns and drop-offs. 
And then this does allow you to go straight forward, but there is still more shopping space available here. Like this is all zoned commercial and there could be another box store here. Okay, then we have a little sign that tells us where things are and um, a random stop sign. I mean, so this giant grassy property on the right, they're ex they would have been expecting this to be a big box store because they made a separate entrance just for it, which I find really curious. And then I can't. Here's a Mexican restaurant called Despanza and uh, a pet smart with an animal pet hospital in it. And a, oh, and also pet grooming. And then we've got a Kato Fashions, Remax Marketplace, so here's another realty office. Um, frozen yogurt, Honey's BBQ, that's a cute little logo. GNC, a crumble cookie, uh, Rue 21, and Rue Guy, so that's all one store, but then Sally Supplies, CC's uh, Beyond Pizza, a Dollar Tree, a K Jewelers, and a Michaels. So you can really just see the variety of all that they have here. Uh, we've got a Bath and Body, um, and a Ross's, and Dick's Sporting Goods. Now this is actually around uh, where we came in at the entrance, but there's another little side here and I'm curious to see what they've put in there. So here's Dick's Sporting Goods that we're driving past. Um, here's a Davenport's Ale House here on the end with a, what looks like a lot of outside dining. Just turning into this little, um, call it a B side. Let's see what they've got in here. Okay, we've got an optical outlet, so another ophthalmologist, and a mattress firm super center. This does look to be a little bigger than most mattress firm stores, but I can't exactly tell how deep it is. So this is here at Posner Park. Here we are at the, you can't see it, but it's the corner of where we came in and Highway 27. And um, I just wanted to show you a little bit about what the shopping is that's available here in Davenport and um, give you an idea of what it looks like. Um, you know, what the daily traffic might look like if you choose to live in this area and what um, shopping is available to you. And I hope you enjoyed seeing some of the shopping. If you do have any questions about what else might be in the area um, and what things look like here in Davenport, make sure you um, add a comment to this video or send me an email. So the other day when we were here, I mentioned this Buff City soap, but the Hand and Stone massage place next to it over here did not have a sign on the back and neither did Five Guys. So I wanted to drive past that so you could see it. And here we are at Twisty Treat and back at the four-way stop by um, this Apex at Posner Park. And I'm just gonna turn around and we're gonna, um, we're gonna take a look at the front of this. Okay. Here is Twisty Treats drive through but don't enter there. So here is Twisty Treat. It is shaped like the ice cream cone. And then we've got, looks like three spaces for lease in this building next to it. And we've got a Five Guys 
Uh, it usually has burgers and fries under it, but this is Five Guys, and they do have a mobile order situation. Um, and next to it is the Regional Spectrum office that I mentioned before, and uh, also this Hand in Stone massage and facial spa. Looks like their massage or facials start at $69.95 for an introductory one hour. And we've got a Buff City soap here. And right across the way is the Chipotle that we drove past. And I just, I'm gonna turn around and then uh, I wanna drive back up 27 and focus on the east side of the road. It will still be in Polk County, um, but it, it's just a whole different side and it's got a lot to offer so I want to focus on that but before we do I noticed something back here and I want to take you guys with me I noticed on the map that uh, this road back here is called Ernie Caldwell Boulevard and I think this goes uh, a lot through like this is a shortcut I'm just not sure what but we do have a, this must be the park and ride um, I've got some city buses over here and then I've got some uh, digging over there in the background and I can't exactly tell what it is, but um, it looks to be interesting. And I'll, I'm gonna do a little research about that. It looks like they're building some more. And here's just another glimpse of these beautiful apartments here uh, across from Hobby Lobby. This is the 55 and over. Looks like they do have garages available and they do allow you to park your boat here. Uh, a lot of apartments won't let you do that. Now, don't quote me on that. That's just by evidence that somebody is actually parked there. I don't have an official on that. But it, it would certainly be a worthy question to ask if this is something you're interested in. Okay, so you can see across from us, uh, we are back at uh, the Dick's Sporting Goods, and I'm gonna turn left here at the stop sign, and we're gonna get started. So here we are at the light at 27. This is at say Victor Posner Parkway. Um, on the other side, it says Home Run. So I'm assuming that's some sort of a boulevard on the other side. And we're gonna turn right and go back north on 27. And we're gonna see what else Davenport has to offer. I actually have the map pulled up and I want to show you kind of where we're at. We are sitting on where the triangle is here and we're going to turn right onto 27. But Home Run Boulevard does go all the way back to this lake over here. And then Ernie Caldwell Boulevard comes around and back behind here. So, all right, let's roll. And you notice the light, right turn light is not very long at all and you immediately have to be aware of where you're merging so that you don't end up directly in I-4. You have to get over into at least the second lane. And sometimes that's tricky as it is a two-way right turn. So this next light here is uh, where the exit comes off from the people eastbound off of I-4 and it goes straight into the Wawa and there is a Chick-fil-A there. So you can just kind of see this from the other side of the road and see what the traffic is like. I'll give you a look at the ramp here. And coming off the interstate, I don't know if you can see it down there, but it is banked pretty heavy. So coming off the interstate, you really do have to kind of slam on the brakes to make that turn and uh, not end up in a ditch. But... Um, it's it's not it is banked well uh unlike the exits from 192 and here are some trees uh to protect the road and erosion from the ramp here we do have a walking path uh covered walking path on both sides here uh, to prevent hazards and we've got a couple of hotels here and a Snoko and a Holiday Inn Express and a Comfort Inn and Suites. Um, then we do have a Denny's and a Burger King and Waffle House. 
looks like we have another Hampton Inn down here. And this light is where the traffic uh, comes off from the westbound I-4 from the people that have come through Orlando. Our light is green. Now this is all still, like I said, this is all Davenport, this is all Polk County. Um, and then here you see the Waffle House and we see some men working on our electric lines. And there is a Sunset Palm Motel back there. Got a 7-Eleven. And Claremont downtown from here is 25 miles. Leesburg is 47 and Ocala is 81. That's what that sign said. This uh, Ritchie Boulevard goes back to the auction, Ritchie Brothers auction that we were looking at the other day. Um, I guess it was probably on my I-4 and 429 stream. But there's a bunch of equipment, large uh, land equipment, and there's an auction here a couple times a year. Um, here you can see some nice big green space, but it's fenced off like it's an actual retention pond which makes sense. Uh, even though we are up here on what we call the ridge, uh, this is one of the highest ridges in Florida, passing the Cracker Barrel, uh, we do still have to worry about drainage and um, erosion here. And we have a beautiful racetrack on the right. This is fairly new. Uh, they just built it, I think, to compete with the Wawa. Today is August 17th, and our regular gas price is $3.69. And they do have plenty of room for trucks and stops here. Then they are building something very curious on the right here, and I'm not sure exactly what it is yet. They've just added this retaining wall, and this is at the corner of Ronald Reagan to the right, and we can see the uh, elevator towers here. It's a gray star on them, and they've just added this. It says Marlow at Ridgeview on the sign on the fence, but I don't know if that's the construction company or new ho housing. So if you take Ronald Reagan to the right, it does go through what we call Loman and um, goes into Champions Gate and further on into East Davenport. We have a Walgreens here on the right. If you turn left here, it goes to Dean Still Road and on through to Polk City. We have some shopping here on the right. It's uh, Beef Oak Brady's and some family restaurants and physicians, dentist, insurance, and a tap house. And then we have some RV storage. So if you need a, a storage space for your RV, along with a little Caesars right next to it. And again, some green space here, which is really nice to see. This is a high um, privacy wall that offers at least backyard privacy for these folks here in these homes. Um, Liam always likes to look at the art on the wall. He thinks they're really cool. This road is Santa Cruz Road and it says no outlet. So that is a Santa Cruz subdivision. And this here is uh, the backside of Champions Gate Housing. Um, it goes down uh, down towards Champions Gate, and this Publix right here on the right is a brand new Publix. In fact, we're just going to drive through here. Um, they are now open. This is your Champions Crossing Publix, not to be confused with Champions Gate Publix. They are different. We have a Pinch a Penny, a Sushi Place, Great Clips, and Publix, and I'm just going to drive through here. Um, we do have a Wood Spring Suites and a beautiful new roundabout. And then uh, some more apartments back here. Let's see what these are. This is Champions View Loop. It says this is a smoke-free community on the sign. Got some nice balconies. These look to be four story uh, apartments. And um, 
We've got electric vehicle parking at the office here. And this is right behind the shopping area. And that looks like the clubhouse. So here's your sushi place here on the end. And we've got the Perrier Vape Shop and Grand Spa and Nails Lounge here on the corner. And then we have Jade Gardens, Papa John's, Great Clips, Pinch a Penny, and the Publix um, Liquors and the Publix Store. And then across the parking lot, let's see if I can find a row that goes down. I think this one goes down. Um, across the parking lot, we have Dental Care at Champions Crossing over here. And I'm here at 1.30 on a Thursday, and you can see it's a little crowded, but it's not too bad. So you can kind of see what I was talking about, uh, the Publix parking lot, each row has its own direction. It's not a, like you can't go both ways in, in one row. And uh, this parking lot is a little quirky. Here at this stop sign, at the front of the parking lot, is so awkward to turn left. You're only supposed to turn right there. So you have to come all the way down here uh, towards the pharmacy end of the store and come out here. And we'll get a really good view of Bellacita Elementary School over here across the street. This uh, Publix does have a, a pharmacy drive through and a separate liquor store. And here is Bellacita Elementary School. This road here on this side is called Bellacita, and if you take this, it will take you all the way towards uh, the main part of Champions Gate. But we're going to go out to 27 again, and to the light, and um, continue on our path north. Okay, you can see some townhomes here on, on your right. I'm hoping we'll get a name for those once we turn. So this red light, you can turn on red here, but um, here, I'll just point. A lot of times the traffic looks like that, so uh, you may just have to wait. And that's okay. It's sometimes it's safer to wait here. There is, I don't know if you can see that big ditch in the road. Uh, they did, <laughs> believe it or not, they did fill it uh, and it eroded uh, with some of our big rainstorms. So you got some potholes here that can take out a tire. Now we are cleared to take our green light and you can see this whole row of townhomes here. limit here is 60 miles an hour um, that still seems awfully fast to me but it's probably about what I'm going I'm doing about 55 and we have another privacy wall we do have some newly planted oak trees behind these single-family homes just on the other side of the hill here I'm sorry you can't see behind the hill Sorry this gimbal is so bouncy. I'm still working out some options here. Um, did not get a name for that neighborhood though. And here is a, another neighborhood and I'm, I'm not even sure what the name of that road is. Um, so this next turn is McAfee Drive to the right. Oh, at the signal is McAfee Drive. So this one after the retaining wall is Berry Road, Berry like the name, not the fruit. And this resort here behind this is Palm Key Boulevard. And again, there is no outlet. And that is a uh, modular home community. To the right here at McAfee Drive, you have Hampton Lakes. Um, it does appear to be semi-gated. And then the light here at 
Uh, the next light coming up um, is Student Drive. This over here is three bedroom, two bath from the 50s. This is the Ridge, that's, that's what the billboard says. Don't quote me on that. And it says the Ridge, Florida.com. It's also a modular home community. Here we are at Student Drive and we've got some shopping up here on the right. We have a mod wash. It is, I think a manned car wash and um, a Dollar Tree and a Wendy's. And there are a few homes behind this. But what I really want to show you is coming up. They are building something here. It does look to be commercial. And I'm not sure what it is. It doesn't have any signs yet. Um, and it says it's now leasing the property, these properties. Um, and then uh, they're building a second thing here on the right. And no idea what that is, but it's got a really curious structure to it. And then we have a McDonald's and another Dollar General and a CVS. And there are, you can see some apartments in the background behind there as well. This is the light at Sand Mine Road. And I'm gonna take you this way, cause this may, I wanna see what this looks like. Um, we do have here some more buildings that, some more stores that have just been built for, um, right there next to the Twisty Treat. And, oh, this has all been torn up with construction. This may not be the best idea. Um, but they're not leased yet. And so here you can see um, these apartments are called Harper Grove and they are now leasing. And there's a huge sign here that doesn't have any stores on it for Sand Mine Plaza on the other side of the road. And then this school back here, um, I'm not sure which school it is. Citrus Ridge Civics Academy. And then uh, over here on the left is the Windsor Island Resort. And you can see we still have some beautiful grasslands and every once in a while you'll see cattle out here. And there is an orange cone in the way, but I wanna see how close they are on this road. This road is supposed to go through. And, oh, they have more pavement. Would you look at that? So, they've got the road, uh, they are building, so down here in the grass, they're building more homes, and you can see here straight ahead, the road is getting ready to go through. Obviously, they have it blocked off with trash, so I'm not going to do that to my car, I'm going to back up. Okay, we are currently facing west, I did turn around, and we're going back past the school, and this Windsor Isle, or whatever this is on the right. This is Aloha Boulevard. This is Pulte or Pult Homes, uh, More Life Builder on the right. And um, this is all fairly new, like say two or three years or less. So here you can see coming up the Sand Mine Plaza shopping uh, sign, but it doesn't have any uh, signs yet, which indicates to me that there is going to be more building here. Like, there's just more coming. But you can see the 7 Eleven over there, and we're going to go around and go past that. This is, we are back at 27. Their CVS is now on my left, and we are turning right because we've already been past that. You can get a really good look here at these commercial buildings for rent. And across the street is the Publix, and this we are back by Barry Town Center. <clears throat> Woo! So sorry about that. Um, next to the Twisty Treat, there is a Laredo Taco in the 7-Eleven. 
Um, it doesn't get better than tacos and ice cream. <laughs> there is a Cube Smart self storage over here with covered RV parking. And then this little road here takes off uh, and goes behind this addition and goes back into the Windsor Isle Resort on the on the back side, but it is a gated community. And then we have these townhomes here on the right that are walled off. Um, and then in this direction, you have um, Florence Villa to the right. And I can't remember what this is called to the left. Legacy Park Boulevard to the left. So all of this is in, you can see here, this neighborhood coming up is called Lake Davenport Estates. Um, it is the one behind the park. It's south of the park. Um, and so we are still in Davenport. This is all Polk County. Like I said, there are some um, reasonable tax advantages to being in this area. This is more considered uh, the Four Corners area because we are fairly close to where the four counties meet. So we've got Polk County here and then Lake County to the north and Orange County to the northeast and Osceola County to the east. beautiful drainage situation and a lake to our right and a beautiful playground for the children in the Lake Davenport area. And this blinking light up here is, um, is for the fire station. The fire station is right here beside the park. And check out my vlogs for the Northeast uh, Regional Park. Uh, it's really quite lovely. It's a great space to go boating or do some trails, some short trails or whatever. And I don't know if you can see it, but we're about to hit some Florida rain. So welcome to Florida, y'all. So I'm sorry you won't be able to see a whole lot, but I thought we'd finish our tour anyway. This on the right here is Bass Lake. It is a just a homes community. It is a gated community. Um, and we've got some uh, businesses down here at the bottom. There's a chiropractor and a salon and a state farm and oh, a giant truck in the road. And uh, some storage here, some self-storage and some RV storage here. Okay, we are currently at the stoplight for Polo Park East Boulevard here to the right by the Circle K and on the left it's the Polo Park Boulevard. It's by a pizza place over here on the left. There's one more thing up here I wanted to see before we conclude our tour today. There is a shopping Plaza here. It is GK Shopping Plaza LLC. And it says it's got a bar, nails, pool supplies, massage, kitchen and bath, doctor and child care on the sign. And there's also a, also a South State Bank in there in this parking to the right. And then here, I don't know if you can see it in the rain. I apologize. I can't control the weather. But there's some beautiful buildings going up. Uh, beautiful sized buildings. They look to be four floors high and I don't know if it's going to be a resort or if it's going to be apartments so we'll have to keep an eye on that as that progresses over the next couple of months and so we, since we started here at 192 I thought we'd take 192 East uh, for a little bit you can check this out on our live stream uh, Liam had a few funny jokes on the live stream when we went from 192 up to Citrus Showcase on that very warm day. 
so you can check that out. So if you are interested in making Florida your home, uh, please fill out your information on resorttv1homes.com and uh, we can connect you to an agent. If um, you are looking for three to five years from now and you're just not really sure what area you want to be in, like this video and subscribe to this channel so that um, I, can, I can help narrow down your search. I'm going to be doing more touring uh, vlogs like this and also more live streams and more content uh, throughout Orlando and the surrounding areas so that you can kind of get a feel for which side of town you want to be on or where you want to be. So make sure you like and subscribe. And as always, if there are any questions or anything I can do to add content that you think might be enjoyable, please make sure you send me an email and um, make sure you let me know what you enjoyed about this video and what else I could help you with. And so from this rainy afternoon in Florida. I will sign off and say, won't you be my neighbor? Bye-bye.